Hi everyone, I'm Kelly. Welcome to the channel. I'm going to show you how I make this chocolate cake. I got this recipe a long time ago from a friend of mine when our daughters were in elementary school together. And for probably, oh, eight years at least, I say, I've been making this as a staple for when we go camping. So I'm making it today and I'm going to get it packed up in the trailer tomorrow when we leave. Now, in order to speed things up, I started a couple things off the bat. The reason why it's called triple chocolate is because you use cake mix, chocolate. I'm using chocolate fudge. You can use German, whatever, just a box of chocolate cake mix. In Canada, they come in the 432 gram size. There's also a package of pudding mix. Instant. Has to be instant. That's important. Instant pudding. 113 grams. That's the larger box. I don't know what that is in the States, but it's the larger box of Jello, and it has to be instant. If you can see that, it's kind of hard to read. So all I've done to get started is dump them in the bowl and mix it up a little bit with a fork to get out any massive lumps. Okay, now, I'll just grab my recipe and double check something here. I haven't actually made this in a little bit. Okay, basically, you can do this in a bowl. You just dump the whole works in here. So I've got... Four eggs. I just kind of gave them a little whisk with my mini whisk. Get the googe off the end of that. Yeah, pour that in there like so. Toss it in the sink. <coughs> Scrape out the goodies from that. Okay. I like to use these double, they're called spoonulas, spoonulas, pardon me, I can't talk, from Pepper Chef. They're a good spoon, but you can also scrape bowl edges with it. No, this is not sponsored by Pampered Chef. I just like their stuff. I've been using it for 20-odd years now. This is another one of those things from Pampered Chef. It's a thing to measure various ingredients. This is one cup of sour cream. I'm sure you probably could use yogurt in place of it. I have never done that. So if anyone makes this and uses yogurt, let me know how it goes. Now this one's really relatively new and stiff, so I'm going to have a hard time getting it out of here, but you just kind of squish it like that. Works like crazy easy for peanut butter, honey, anything that's sort of sticky and gloppy and it's hard to scoop out of a measuring cup. And I just take a knife and just make sure I get everything off the edge. Scrape that on there. In this measuring cup, I have a half a cup of water and a half a cup of vegetable oil. I'm using canola, but you can use vegetable oil of your chi of the, whatever choice you want. Dump that in there. And this is two cups of chocolate chips. So that's where the third chocolate comes in. Now we mix it all up. Okay, now I've moved over by the stove. As you can see, this is all mixed up. Grease your bunt pan. I did that already. I used that spray stuff, but feel free to grease however you wish. My oven is set at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I think that's 180 Celsius, but don't quote me on that. So this is why I like these things from Pampered Chef. Now I have to kind of watch my cupboard, but you can kind of scoop. If you can see what I'm doing, I'm not my in range. Hold on. There we go. That's a little bit better. Sorry about that. Okay, scoop, blob. Scoop, blob it. Alright, you get the idea. Here, I'll move away a little bit so we can, you know, she see the bunt pan. Sorry, it's hard to hold this bowl with one hand because it gets a little heavy, actually. This is kind of dense dough batter. Batter, I guess it is, actually. Plop it in there. Oops, that's not quite mixed. Oh, whatever. This is super forgiving. Just bang it together, throw it in the bunt pan, and bake it. And honestly, you think it looks boring? Uh-uh. It is super rich, moist, decadent, delicious. You do not need icing. Swear. I thought, first time I made it, maybe I'll put icing on it afterwards. No. Totally not required. This is fantastic just the way it is. So sorry for giving you lots of video here, but I'm not shutting my camera off when I'm being somewhat chocolatey gicky, so you're going to have to bear with me while I plop this in the bunt pan. 
Okay, now all the plopping's done. So here's where the handy part of the spoonula comes in. Scrape it all down as much as you can. You can always get a little bit more from scraping, right? You don't want to miss some of your batter. So that's like another, what, almost quarter cup that I got off that. Okay, in she goes. Take that little blob there because there's a couple of chocolate chips in it. Put that out of my way. Now, just kind of smooth it out a little. It doesn't matter too much because as soon as you get it in the hot oven, it's going to go bleh. Anyway, the baking time is an hour. I usually set my timer for like 56, 55, 56 minutes and just check it. You can use that, you know, the toothpick test or the end of a knife or something. Just to make sure it's not goopy in the middle. And yes, I will put the recipe in the description box, provided I remember and don't have a little brain fart, but I should be good to do this for today. So, in she goes. Okay, there we go. Done. 57 minutes. Toothpicked it. It's fine. Now it's got to cool on the rack for a little while. 20 minutes, half an hour-ish. The cake is fairly cool now on the top. It's been about 45 minutes or so. So I just take this long spatula and go like around in here and just make sure it's not stuck, stuck anywhere. Break it up. Then I'll flip it out onto the rack and let it cool all the way. There we go. Delicious. Nice and dark and moist and chocolatey. Num num. Thanks for watching.